Fans always passionately show affection for their beloved idols, particularly when they get the chance to meet them in person. However, sometimes this enthusiasm goes too far. Recently, the members of RISE had a horrifying experience when they landed at Gimpo Airport after their schedule in Japan. As soon as the group left the enclosed exit area, fans surrounded them from all sides. Despite security measures, the crowd tried to approach the members, leaving youngest member Anton looking bewildered and visibly shaken, almost on the verge of tears. Anton even had to wear a bucket hat covering his eyes, while the manager kept him close by linking arms. The remaining members clearly showed fatigue as they had to navigate through the crowd. Certainly, enhanced security measures to protect idols are essential in situations like this. However, sometimes too much of a good thing is not beneficial. Recently, another airport clip also went viral, but for the wrong reasons. In this clip, while the Boy Next Door boys were being protected by security from the enthusiastic crowd at Qingdao Airport, one fan got too close to the members to take a photo. This fan was immediately violently pushed by the group's security, causing her to fall to the ground. The sound and commotion from the fan's fall were enough to startle some members of the Boy Next Door team, prompting them to turn back in shock. This clip quickly went viral online with over 3 million views, accompanied by numerous comments criticizing the security guard's attitude. Immediately, Boy Next Door management company, Kios, a subsidiary of Hybe, issued an official apology for the violent behavior of the security guard towards the fan on December 19th. Meanwhile, security is not the sole concern, but also the stylists of the groups. Recently, fans expressed concern as Aespa's Karina continued to experience a wardrobe malfunction, with her dress strap nearly tearing during her performance at KBS Music Bank Global 2023. This incident is not the first time. She's been dressed in tops, with tiny straps that have either almost broken off or have broken completely. Karina was not only given two different high heels, but also had the sole of one shoe completely fall off before her performance. What's even more horrifying is that she once wore an outfit with sewing needles still on the sleeve. Hopefully, situations like these will not occur for the safety of the idol. Meanwhile, today, on December 19th, Celine hosted the grand opening event for their store at Siam Paragon Mall in Thailand. Thousands of fans gathered early to catch a glimpse of Lisa and Park Bo gum at the event. Siam Paragon Mall had to deploy over 200 security personnel to ensure the safety of the idols. With that enthusiastic excitement, the crowd screams out as soon as Lisa steps into the venue, while others are in awe of Celine's Global Ambassador's dazzling visual. Lisa looked stunning in Celine's leopard print crop jacket and a mini skirt from Women's Summer 2024 Tomboy Collection. With bold makeup and her new curly hairstyle, it enhanced her radiance. Alongside her angelic-like beauty, Lisa also showcased a sweet personality as she bowed and offered her brightest smile to the fans who had been waiting for her for a long time. She is the main event indeed. Meanwhile, during Lisa's time in Thailand, she unexpectedly received sad news. On December 18th, Lisa's cat Hunter passed away after 18 years of being part of her family. Hunter shared his last Christmas with Lisa's family on December 17th. Ever since Lisa's rookie days, she has been mentioning Tiga and Hunter, her cats, in Thailand. This is so sad. Hunter waited for Lisa to come home before he passed. Hope he rests in peace.